Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Indian Punjabi style cooking, best of all easy steps cooking. I'm going to cook today roasted chicken with the potatoes and I'm going to share with you how do I do it. I have a three pound of chicken. The best thing to do in the chicken that uh, you make a cut, like on my drumsticks I make a three cuts, one cut on this side, two cuts on this side. Same thing on other pieces as well. These cuts will help us to marinate our chicken better. Then I have a three pound of uh, my potatoes. I peeled it, I washed it and I cut into this um, size. I will use a small cup of uh, sweet peas and uh, corn. In order to marinate, I'm going to use uh, one and a half cup of yogurt, half cup oil. I'll use two fresh uh, lemons, so, so I'll extract the uh, juice. I already uh, one tablespoon my ginger and my garlic. I already grinded it real well. My spices will be two teaspoon of uh, garam masala, black pepper, grinder powder and salt and as for my deggi mirch I will use a 2 tablespoon and uh, 1 tablespoon I will uh, use my parsley and a uh, few leaves like uh, 3 4 bay leaves I'll add first yogurt I'll extract my lemon juice you need to use about a two tablespoon and it seems like uh, these uh, lemons has a lot of juice so I'm going to use only three pieces so I'm going to keep a half of it otherwise it will become really sour because these lemons are good they are full with juice okay this is good okay now I will add uh, my olive oil my paste garlic and uh, ginger now I'm going to salt red pepper deggi mirch coriander powder black pepper and garam masala and I'll mix it it's really important that when you mix it you mix it really well you start slowly slowly So you need to cook, uh, mix it really well. So as uh, all the spices have been mixed, now it's the time I can bring my parsley. And uh, I'm going to keep the leaves uh, out. And I'll uh, put these leaves at the end, you know, once we have all these uh, marinated uh, done. So this one looks real nice and I'll bring my chicken and now it's a time that I'm going to use my hands and uh, I'll mix it so they marinate real well so once I have uh, added all my chicken now it's important that uh, we mix it really good so this one looking pretty nice and what I will do at this minute I will cover with the plastic and uh, you can uh, put a lid on it and I can put a lid uh, I'll let it sit uh, for two hours even one hour it will be fine because uh, the chicken is fresh and uh, so the more takes a longer like an hour or so then it uh, becomes uh, uh, more uh, the flavors goes inside the chicken and then the chicken tastes better so my chicken I'm going to let it sit I'm going to cover with the lid uh, for two hours I'm gonna put it on the side and after two hours I'm gonna come back it's a two hours my chicken has been uh, sitting on uh, here and it's looking beautiful now what I will do I'll bring my 
potatoes. If you have a bigger pot, then it's not a problem. But what I will do at this moment, because it's getting too crowded, and uh, I'm just going to pull out some chicken because it's already marinated for two hours and uh, now I can add uh, my all the potatoes and uh, peas and uh, my corn and the rest of the potatoes so again some more chicken I'm just going to pull it out so this is a perfect um, as for uh, the marination of my potatoes now I can bring my chicken and my potatoes my leaves I'm going to make it wet and uh, this will bring the flavor so I'm going to put it underneath each of them now the rest of this I will bring my ball and all my remaining my yogurt and all of my seasoning basically now it's important that we evenly spread it out I started my convection oven at 450 degree and I'm going to leave this one for half an hour. After half an hour I will come back, I'll pull the tray out and I will turn over my chicken and my potatoes and then I will see if it needs 15 minutes or another half an hour. So 45 minutes to one hour. It's exactly half an hour. and. Uh, my chicken is looking good and as I said uh, after half an hour I'm going to turn around my chicken so basically I have to turn it down so this water will uh, you know dry it out soon and once I turn around all this I'm going to leave this one another 20 minutes and I will check it and uh, as I said 45 minutes to one hour it will be perfectly done another 15 minutes so altogether 45 minutes is all done my chicken looking good my roasted chicken with a baked potato so I'm going to put into serving plate it's all uh, perfectly cooked this one is uh, cooked uh, within 45 minutes and uh, depending on uh, your oven some oven can take uh, one hour but within one hour this dish will be perfectly ready look at how beautiful my chicken is looking So my roasted uh, chicken with the uh, baked potato is all done. So you can garnish uh, a little bit uh, with the fresh cut cilantro. And this is how beautiful looking. And uh, I really appreciate each one of you joining my Indian Punjabi style. Best of all easy step cooking. Thank you again. If you like it, please subscribe my channel. Bye bye.